We have a few more NHL players that might be in hot water with NHL player safety. So as we wait to hear from NHL player safety on these issues, I wanted to discuss this with you, what you think and if these guys should be suspended. We're talking about Chris Kunitz of the Chicago Blackhawks for his hit on Travis Hamannick of the Calgary Flames. And we're also going to discuss Tyler Bertuzzi, the Detroit Red Wings situation that erupted here with the Colorado Avalanche last night. We'll discuss those situations coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, we have a couple more NHL players who might find themselves in hot water and either facing a suspension or a fine or some sort of supplementary discipline after last night's NHL games. Now let's get started here with Chris Kunitz of the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, the Hawks were playing the Calgary Flames last night. Now if you didn't see this clip, I will have it linked down below in the description so you can have a look at it here. Unfortunately, I don't have a clip here I can show uh, for this one here today, but there is one down in the description that you can have a look at in case you did not see it. So basically, Chris Kunitz goes into the offensive zone as Hamannick is coming out along the boards, and he goes in basically with the chicken wing right up and, and made, did make head contact with Travis Hamannick. He was given a five-minute major for elbowing, and he was ejected from the game. When you watch the clip of Chris Kunitz, unfortunately, it looks like there's intent. I mean, the fact that his arm was up with the elbow out for such a, a number of strides there um, does not look good at all. Now, Chris Kunitz is not really the type of player who has a reputation for being a dirty player. He's certainly been a type of player who's, you know, normally played pretty aggressive, sometimes walks that line, but doesn't really have a bad reputation. I mean, he's been in the league a long, long time. Obviously, Chris Kunitz is one of the league's older veterans uh, and really doesn't have a history of this type of behavior. So it's kind of surprising to see coming from him, but especially when more so when he was younger and even to a degree today, you know, he certainly does play a physical style of game. But so far, for the most part of his NHL career, been able to keep himself within the rules and not really get into a whole lot of trouble. But this uh, hit on Travis Hamannick last night against the Calgary Flames does not look good, and I do fully suspect that NHL player safety will be having a hearing, and I do expect him to be suspended. Now, as far as the number of games go, uh, watching TSN highlights and their commentators, they felt at least two or three games would probably be appropriate. I know Craig Button on TSN uh, was pretty fired up about it and not happy with Chris Kunis for this. Obviously, any kind of hit that targets the head and the head is the focal point of contact certainly is you know something that they're trying to get out of the game. Uh, it's a very dangerous play, and uh, hopefully Travis Hamannick isn't hurt too badly. I know he did leave the ice. I don't know the full extent uh, of his injuries there. Uh, as I only saw the highlights, I didn't see the full game, so I'm not sure. Um, with Hamannick, I know I've seen him go off down the tunnel after I watched the highlight, but... We'll see what happens here, but let me know your thoughts down below. Is Chris Kunitz going to end up being suspended over this elbow? Does it look like there's intent to you on this play? And certainly what do you think is the likely outcome of the suspension, assuming he does get one here? Now, the other situation that erupted last night was the Detroit Red Wings and the Colorado Avalanche. Of course, as some of you might remember, depending on how old you're and how long you've been watching NHL hockey, at one point in time, the Red Wings and the Avalanche had a very, very intense rivalry. And of course, over recent years here, that's kind of calmed down. But stuff like this could certainly get it going here again. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, what happened here is Matt Calvert was coming up the ice. He was hit by Detroit Red Wings defenseman Mike Green. Uh, he went into the bench. The stick kind of flung over. Part of him ended up in the bench on his whole body, but his arm with his stick and just a little bit of them ended up in the bench and the Red Wings players uh, with Bertuzzi seeming to be the main one involved here grabbed a hold of the stick and would not let go so he couldn't get a stick back he started to fight for it and then they just all even the guys on the bench Bertuzzi and some other guys who couldn't really see exactly who they all were started punching Calvert and ended up getting into a big scrum so obviously when you're not on the ice you I mean obviously that's against the rules anyway but when you're on the bench um, it's even more so of a no-no so I would think Tyler Bertuzzi, as well as potentially some other guys that were on the bench, very well could end up with some sort of supplementary discipline. I'm not sure if Bertuzzi would be suspended over that, but I can certainly see him at least being fine. Um, so certainly, again, you know, he's a player uh, that kind of walks the line a little bit as well, not afraid of the refs. I'm not really sure why why they decided not to give Calvert a stick back and grab onto it. Obviously, it just kind of, you know, created a big situation there. Um, but anyways, but I would not be surprised to see them uh, hand out some fines for that situation. So if you're watching the game or if you've seen that situation, certainly leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you expect the Red Wings players to get in any hot water over this, especially Tyler Bertuzzi, who seemed to be at the front of it? Would not be surprised, like I said, if the NHL at least offers them a fine. 
could be suspended, but I don't think it was that egregious that a really a suspension is necessary, but I can certainly see a, a decent sized fine handed out uh, for his actions, especially considering he wasn't even on the ice. That type of behavior is certainly not normally looked upon very well by NHL and NHL player safety. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to quick, make that a quick point of discussion here for today. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, what do you think is going to come from that? If you're new to the channel here, hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up before you go. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. We will catch you next time.